Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. I want to bring out this uh, interesting article that is uh, very, very uh, relevant to the times that we're in. As we know, you know, the end of Esau's world will be associated and synonymous with many great wonders, strange works happening in the planet Earth before the coming of the day of the Lord. You know, whether you deal with, uh, you know, the, the, the weather patterns, you know, uh, the condition of the Earth, um, you know, natural disasters, eclipses. You know, uh, storms, I'm talking about all types of things happening in the heavens. Chariots, chariots of, of all things at the forefront, all right? Um, when you read Second Edges, the um, eight, uh, the ninth chapter in the fifth verse, it says, For like as all that is made in the world, all right? Everything that's made, that's made in this world has what? You know, um, a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, all right? So the end is manifesting itself in ways, all right, um, that we, the elect, you know, should be, uh, you know, looking for, all right, uh, because w what does it say in the book of Sirach, the uh, 36th chapter, you know, that should be one of our prayers, you know, for more of these strange works, for the, you know, for the Lord to, you know, put fear in these people, man, you know, to let, let them know that he's real. Okay, this is uh, Second Edges uh, or Sirach 36. Okay, and two, and send fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. Okay, and these things are sending fear upon these scientists. There's a lot happening in the heavens that they they hide. All right, they release little things here and there. Okay, if you're watching, but ultimately, overall, we know the Lord of Terrors is getting ready to put holy hell on these Edomites and you wicked people in a nutshell okay lift up thine hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power all right as thou was sanctified in us before them be thou magnified among them before us okay and we are among the heathen okay and let them know thee as we have known thee that there is no God only but thou O God right show new signs and make other strange wonders so there's some strange wonders different animals being discovered all right it is just 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 the absolute uh the vibration is totally off man okay everything's through all right so the lord is going to uh send some very wondrous works into the earth as omens and signs not only to the you know to aid in its destruction and its downfall all right, but for us to see and glorify in Yahweh Bashem Shai, glorify thine hand, thine right arm, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. So that's that's a prayer that we should have, you know, for the Lord to send more, you know, chariots, send more strange works, terrify these scientists, you know, the, uh, put put holy hell on them, put fear in them, you know, because as Egypt fell little by little. Babylon is falling little by little, all right? This place, uh, uh, you know, the earth always comes to a point, all right, where it strikes back, all right? As a matter of fact, in the book of uh, Leviticus, the 18th chapter, in the 26th verse, it says, Ye shall therefore keep my statues and my judgments, and shall not commit any of these abominations, neither any of your own nation nor any stranger that sojourneth among you. For all these abominations have the men and the land done which were before you, and the land is defiled, that the land spew not you out also when ye defile it, all right, as it spewed out the nations that were before you. So there's a point, and this is speaking of, you know, the promised land, all right, which the Canaanites who were inhabiting that land before we went there, all right, just as these Edomites are doing as they're inhabiting it, okay, are doing what? Evil, man. All right, the, the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, under the rulership. So just as he said, look, I spew them out, all right, because those Canaanites were practicing child sacrifice, 
drinking blood. That's what the people, the rulers of the earth are into now. Their little secret uh, uh, ceremonies and rituals and, you know, uh, sacrifice, all of that, man. Their priesthood. Okay, and that's what's set up in the earth today. So there came a point where the Lord spewed them out. Okay, let's look up this word spew. All right, because natural disasters are based on what comes from the heavens. The heavens dictate what happens on earth. A storm. Those are things those are things happening in the heavens, man, that make those storms. Uh, 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 floods. All right. <laughs> so the word spew. OK, the word spew is ka kaya. All right. To vomit out. All right. Spew out this gore. Land spewing into old inhabitants, all right? A disgorging, vomiting, all right? And the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, okay? So there's natural disasters are eight that are uh, uh, aiding in the downfall of this place as it dis dis disintegrates until the very end when the Lord is going to just fully destroy Babylon the Great and send the holy angels to deliver, deliver us up out of here, man, okay? There's going to be many strange wonders, so... Strange, <laughs> repeating signal. This is off of LiveScience.com. Repeating signal. All right. Strange, repeating radio signal near the center of the Milky Way has scientists stumped. It's not a fast radio burst. All right. Pulsar or low mass star. So what in the heavens is it? What in the heavens is it? Right. It says astronomers, all right, which, you know, these witches and warlocks, okay, on the left-hand side, they, they do stargazing. They do particular things to predict things. They're, they're, they're privy, you know, because them demons are dealing with them on a high level. And see, this is how the Lord dealt with the, the nation of Israel to some degree. We had this power, all right, you know, when we had our priesthood set up. But ultimately, when we get in the kingdom, the, the, the heavens are going to deal directly with us on the earth, man. Okay, and this is how they've been able to fool the people. Okay, <laughs> act as God. Okay, but 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 their rulership is only temporary, man. And now the earth is turning on these people. Okay, these demons aren't answering them the way that they used to. Now they're being put in fear. Astronomers have detected a strange repeating radio signal near the center of the Milky Way. What is what, what is the Milky Way? A cluster of stars or or energy okay just one of the many wonders of yahweh bashim yahweh in the heavens they call it the milky way which is a greek word by the way <laughs> show you that all right galaxia all right galaxy okay in the english but in the uh, greek it's galaxias all right um Showing you we're in, we're back in the Greco-Roman system all over again. All right, Galaxia is the Greek word for Milky Way. All right, it was derived from the Greek gala, milk. All right, English galaxy derived from Greek galaxias. All right, yada yada yada. I think it's um associated with New Latin in a sense as well, but um there you go. All right, uh, uh you know, Milky. All right, milk, you know, and, and and they named this series of uh, stars because what is a galaxy at the end of the day? All right, um, you know, a, a, a system. All right, a, a system of stars, uh, stellar remnants, arrangements, gas, dust. What they say, dark matter. Okay, it's a, it's a, and they say it's billions of stars in each particular one from what they see and they don't they can't see everything they don't have the eyes to see everything they don't have the power the lord has uh, allowed them to see particular things with the technology he's blessed them with all right but you know when we get them new bodies and we you know get them chairs we'll be able to you know dwell uh dwell in that plan field all right in the galaxies and see what's up in there all right the most high is far out okay so, <laughs> let's see here. 
So the Milky Way is ultimately, you know, a, a, a term for a, a galaxy. All right. Which you can look more of that up on your own. All right. When you whenever if you want to. OK, we're going to go back to the uh, article. Give me one second here. OK, it says. Uh, when you read this article, so strange repeating radio signal near center of Milky Way has scientists stumped. So what is it? OK, <laughs> it says we will go down in the article. The radio source known as ASCAP. All right. And it gives the number was detected with the Australian square kilometer array pathfinder radio telescope. All right. Situated in remote Australian outback. All right. In an ASKAP ASCAP <laughs> ASCAP. All right. Survey taken between April 2019 and August 2020. A, the strange signal appeared 13 times. Woo. Yeah, and that number 13 is synonymous with, with Esau's occult and left hand magic. Okay. Trying to offset the uh, the perfection of the twelve, it says, never lasting in the sky for more than a few weeks. The researchers wrote. It said this radio source is highly uh, variable, appearing and disappearing with uh, no predictable schedule. And it showed you these devils ain't in control. It says and doesn't seem to appear in any other radio telescope data prior to the ASCAP survey. When the researchers tried to match the energy source with uh, observations from other telescopes, including the uh, Chandra X-ray, which these are some badass telescopes and things that these people have because they're blessed. The miracles which they had to do on the side of the beast is because, of the, you know, the uh, what they what they're what they're um, blessed with, you know, resources, you know, uh, technology, you know, time, you know. To search things out, all right? Why they have you in a rat race? Okay, it says observatory in the Neil Swift Observatory, as well as the visible infrared survey telescope for astronomy in Chile, which can pick up near infrared infrared, infrared wavelengths. The signal disappeared entirely. Okay, with no apparent emissions. And other part of the igno electromagnetic spectrum. Okay. So, let's see here. The closest match, because they're trying to match it with something, is a mysterious class of object known as the Galactic Center Radio tran Transient, all right, a rapidly glowing radio source that brightens and decays near the Milky Way Center. Usually over the course of a few hours, so far, only the C, the GCRTs have been confirmed, and all of them appeared and disappeared much more quickly than this new ASCAP object does. All right, so it's been happening. Okay, however, the few known, all right, this, you know, acronym, do shine with a similar brightness as the mysterious signal and their radio flare-ups are never accompanied by x-rays if this new radio object is a c or a gc rt its properties push the boundaries of what astronomers thought all right these were capable of all right because this is doing it even more it's on a whole nother level okay these frequencies and and, and, and that they're picking up something you know you know not known you know to to to, to human beings they, they haven't ever experienced anything like this so they're like god damn okay future radio surveys surveys of the galactic center should help clear up the mystery okay so the heavens are ultimately uh, uh as the scriptures say let's get it all right Job, okay, the, the 20th chapter, the 27th verse. 
the heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. Okay, and that's what's happening to this devil. You know, the heavens are revealing his iniquity. Okay, and the earth is rising up against him. He's being spewed out of the land. Natural disasters. Okay, the weather patterns are destroying the crops. Now, when you go into the history, you know, crazy weather patterns and things happening in the heavens you know, are synonymous with the fall of empires, man. Grand solar minimums in the fall of empires. That's this article. And you can look it up on your own. But it was interesting going into, you know, the fall of the Roman Empire. It says, if we look at the Roman Empire, it's appearing the sun was at the heart of everything. All right. The period from 200 B.C. to 150 A.D. when the Roman project was at its most healthy also coincided with what is often referred to as the Roman climate op optimum and the earth all right it, it, even now it's 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 shifting and as the scriptures say those who destroy the earth have to be destroyed it's only so much the earth will take before it spews you out it says when the weather warmed up due to high solar activity okay so it was the it was things that are happening in the in the in the in the heavens <laughs> that ultimately dictated and was synonymous with the fall of the Roman Empire, man. And you can read more, okay? Because there came an ice age, all right? Which what did, what, did it, what did these things lead to? What did these extreme measures in the heavens lead to? Okay? It says, and this was in around 450 to 700 AD it says growing seasons were shortened okay food shortages ensued ain't that happening now disease became rampant okay millions died and the empire fell apart and that's ultimately where we are with the fall of this Babylonian empire okay let's get the book of uh let's see here Matthew 24 and 7, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places, man. Okay, and everything that's happening in the heavens, okay, uh, all of these signs and wonders are, are leading to a lot of these things happening. What's happening over there in Australia? Draconian measures are being uh, 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 uh pushed upon the people man okay people are catching hell okay they're, they're, they're setting up what what they're calling the new world order they're telling you we're in the new world order which is a test run to what's getting ready to happen here okay and the angels are responsible all right, for these 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 energies and these vibrations being pushed out and these mindsets being pushed out amongst the people to do particular things, man. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 20. His severe raft shall he sharpen for a sword and the world shall fight with him against the unwise. Okay, and the heaven and the earth is synonymous, man. They work together. Okay. And the heavens dictate heavily the things that are happening on the earth, man. So here it is. They're recording frequencies sent from this, you know, this galaxy to the best of their ability with the technology they have. And they pick up a frequency and a, and a, and a, and a sound and a, and a light. Okay, that, 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 that shook them up. It says it, it said that it had them stumped. Okay, it said they were stumped. It said it's, it's not a fast radio burst, pulsar, or low mass star. So what in the heavens is it? Okay. <laughs> so the, 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 something in the heavens is commuting, putting out a particular vibration, man. And who knows? What, what that puts into the earth, man. <laughs> because on the left-hand side, Esau's opening up portals. So 
so all of these things are the beginning of sorrows, man, but they all lead unto the end. Okay, because we're at the end of Esau's world. All right, Sirach 10 and 13. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. Okay, and that's you Edomites, and you've done, you your filthy works are fulfilled, man. Okay, and therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Okay. Right. So they're detecting and they're signs, the signs in the heavens. As a matter of fact, Luke. Okay, Luke 21 and 24, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword. This is what happened to us in 70 AD and shall be led away captive into all nations Right. We went into captivity after that. We, we, we ran in 70 AD to Africa, you know, the different parts of the interiors of West, North, some South Africa. All right. And eventually we settled. We had, you know, we did all right things. You know, ultimately, then we went into captivity, sub-Saharan slave trade, the Arabs and the Hamites sold us to the Edomite. OK, we were brought over here to the Americas to serve captivity, man. Okay, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. We were, we went captive into all nations. And what would happen from that point? And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So these signs are, are letting us know that the time of the Gentiles are fulfilled. And that's what we're going to go into, into a few scriptures. And, and what would that be synonymous with? And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And upon the earth, the stress of the nations with perplexity. All right. People are confused. People are off themselves. Things are things are getting uh, uh, weird. All right. And tyranny is at the forefront of, of, of these these Edomites mouths, man. OK, on some Hellenization 2.0 type shit, man. That if you want to live on their earth, you got to do this. You got to come up under this order. And it starts with, with you giving us your insights. So the Lord is getting ready to take this man down. And we're seeing signs in the suns, eclipses. We're seeing signs in the moon, red moon, wolf moon, jack moon. Okay? And in the stars, the chariots, shooting stars, all sorts of things are happening in the heavens, man. And upon the earth, the stress of the nations... With perplexity in the seas uh, and the waves roaring, all right? Meaning things are going to be crazy, man. And we're seeing those seas and waves roaring, man. Storms, floods, right? That's because the the, the, the heavens are dictating, all right? Uh, uh, the, 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 that right there is letting you know that what goes on in the heavens, all right, uh, are synonymous with the condition of the earth, man. And the end is manifest. And what is the end uh, synonymous with Esau being the end of the world? The time of the Gentiles being fulfilled will be through the Edomite nation falling and Babylon a great being utterly destroyed and his beast system. All right. Uh, 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 ultimately breaking apart and being destroyed as well, man. OK, taken down. OK, but Babylon a great will be the, you know, fully fire, man. All right. That's what's written, man. But before that day, all right, there's going to be signs in the, in, the, in the sun, the moon, the stars. OK, the stress of the nations. We're seeing that heightened perplexity, confused. People don't know their next move. And the, 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 the measures that are being put upon the people are causing perplexity. They're having to make life changing decisions. And give their body over to the beast in order to live on earth, man. And have a job, a, a, a shop, a buy, a sell. All right? And the sea and the waves roaring, man. I wonder what this says in the NLT. This part. All right? Perplexed by the roaring seas and strange tides, man. Okay? People are being flooded. Storms. As a matter of fact. Okay? Uh, uh, 250 all right uh, uh without power as nicholas soaks texas in louisiana man so pray for texas pray for the brothers in texas not 
this place, you know, may the Lord destroy it. Because Texas ain't innocent, man. You know, none of these Edomites, none of these places are innocent. But the Lord's just going to have them fight against one another in a way, you know, that will allow us to maneuver how we maneuver. And the Lord, you know, uh, eventually is going to have, you know, to send the angels because they're going to come in a very, very, you know, proud, proud and disrespectful and wicked way. So the Lord is going to have to lift up that standard, man. But 250 people are without power. Don't you know they're perplexed, confused? Okay. People are being found dead. So hell is being put on this earth, man. Okay. Second Edges, the 15th chapter. Okay. Let's just hit to the point. And the Lord is getting ready to get us up out of here. Uh, uh, Second Edges uh, 15 and 10. Behold, my people is led as the flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. See that? And I will destroy all the land thereof, man. And what what was in the uh, Egypt aiding the Israelites? What was responsible for those great miracles and things being done? The angel that was in the heavens. The chariot that followed the, the children of Israel the whole time they were there. <laughs> His eyes was on them, man, guiding us. And he's here today. Okay? The the, the holy angels are surrounding us. They're, they're putting us in positions where we're getting ready to get the victory. The Lord is getting ready to take down the wicked. Yahweh Ba Hashem Shai. All right. And these in the angels are responsible for dictating the events and the things that happen on Earth. So there's angels in those in those uh, galaxies, man. <laughs> Hold on. You know, man. And this flesh couldn't even get close to the, the galaxy, man. We, we, we you know, but we're going to have the bodies. To play in that arena in the kingdom of heaven, man. When we get the, the new bodies, man. The celestial bodies. Okay. I believe it even mentions celestial in this article, man. All right. So. Yo, man. Let's look up celestial real quick. Position in or relating to the sky or outer space as observed in astronomy. So the celestial bodies, okay, are coming when the Lord gets us up out of here. Okay, so he's going to smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Okay, Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn. All right, because of the weather patterns, you know, the the, uh, the heart program. OK, the earth is out of course. Things ain't button. Things ain't flourishing. Their seed shall fail through the blasting hell. All right. And hit blasting in hell. All right. Which those all come from the heavens. The heavens dictate storms. But you people don't talking about is no God. The heavens dictate when lightning comes down. Right? Man doesn't have any 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 control over that, but the Lord has allowed him a a, a particular uh uh blessing to tap into particular things and have control over the particular things. Hey, in the kingdom of heaven, the scriptures describes us as having control over being bringing plagues on the earth, man, if we want to. If we want to plague a heathen nation for doing evil we can do that we can we can send a drought it talks about that uh read the book of uh zechariah i believe it's the 14th chapter like probably started like uh, 16 maybe you know in the kingdom of heaven when the heathen you know don't keep our ways we'll hey we're gonna be able to send plagues okay these have power to smite the earth 
with plagues as oft as they want it. The Lord said, I'm going to give unto you the keys, all right, of, of, of uh, the key of David, man. Judgment. Okay? And it also talks about the key <laughs> of uh, 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 life and hell or something like that. So we're going to be able to put hell on the earth, all right, whenever we may, until you heathen nations. And it'll fix itself up. All right. <laughs> All right. But we're going to do it in a, in a, in a, in a, in a natural manner. Okay. And you devils are going to be through in the kingdom, man. But anyway, it says they, that till the ground shall mourn for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hell and with fearful constellation. All right. Let's look up this word constellation. Okay. A group of stars forming a recognizable pattern like the Milky Way. All right. That is traditionally named after its apparent form, identifying with a mythological figure, because all of these things are tied to their gods, even the galaxy, all of that stuff, the, the, the naming of it. You know, all of the elements and everything we know are named after Greco-Roman gods and, and particular things. All of it, even the days of the week. We are back in the Greco-Roman Empire. The revival of the beast system is here. And it started with the Greeks. It started with the leopard. And it was heightened through the, the eagle, the Romans. Okay? You can read about the eagle in Second Edges, the 11th chapter. And we have lessons on that. It says a group or cluster of related things. So that's describing the same thing as the Milky Way. Okay. It says, <laughs> and there's billions of them. But within them, there's billions of stars and different, you know, so there's different colors and different elements. We, we, we haven't even been privy to. Because we're too, you know, we're too, you know, we would, we, we couldn't bear those. But we're going to get all of that back in the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay. But the scriptures describe that in the latter days, a fearful constellation, the things that are happening in the heavens. Okay. Uh, 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 the natural disasters, right? The, the, you know, the eclipses, what we just saw. Or what? A sign of woe unto the world of them that dwell therein. For the sword in their destruction drive nigh, and one people shall stand and fight against another. So this right here is letting you know that the way that the Lord would plague this modern day Egypt and get us up out of here is destroying the foundation of it, destroying the agricultural system. And Esau is helping to do that. With GMOs, okay, uh, uh, messing with the, the the heart program, okay, the the Roundup Ready soil, okay. Farmers are now through. All right, people, you have farmers committing suicide because of that Roundup uh, garbage, man. So the 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 farming industry is through. They're 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 sucking the earth dry. They're taking all of the resources in the land. They're cutting out the middleman. So they that till the ground shall mourn for their seed shall fail through the blasting. All right. And there's the, that's those natural disasters and hell. Okay. Hell uh, uh, ruins crops, snow in places where it shouldn't, it, 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 it doesn't, you know, usually snow and get cold like that. The Lord is having, you know, particular things happen. Where, you know, it gets it gets cold and ruins crops, man. Okay? And with the fearful constellation. So that's, those things are plagues, okay? The fearful constellation, okay, which 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 is a, the, what this article described. Hold on, let's get it. Where is it? This article described a, a, you know, you know, one of those constellations sent them, you know, some sort of frequency, man. 
And signal. What is a signal? Let's look it up. Signal definition. A gesture, an action, or sound that is used to convey instructions typically by pre-arrangement between the parties concerned. An electrical impulse or radio wave transmitted or received. So they received, all right, a, a, an, an impulse. What is an impulse? <laughs> we go keep looking at words. What is an impulse? Okay. A sudden, strong, and unreflective urge or desire to act like it make you move. Okay. Compulsion, need, itch. Hmm. Very interesting. An electrical impulse or radio wave, all right, transmitted or received. Okay. Wow. So, what is it? Look what it says here. <laughs> wow. You got people saying the, the the heavens are fake, and it says an act or event. Hold up. Something, sound, gesture conveys notice or warning. <laughs> right, warning. It says transmit, convey information, impulse, voltage. messages and information can be transmitted so they picked up a, a, a frequency man a signal to communicate showing you it's something up there man and one of the angels may it may have sent something and they couldn't really pick up what it said right it was something i saw i guess it ain't Anyway, something that incites into action, warning. Hmm. But when I had it here, it says an event or act which shows that something exists or that gives information. So something is up there. Something is, 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 is uh, uh, talking to you devils, man. And really, ultimately, it's all synonymous with the fact that your world is over. The end of your world. All right, let's get that. Let's get that, man. The end of your world, baby. Esau is the end of the world, okay? Second Edris chapter six and twenty five, all right? And we'll get the understanding of all of those things, you know, what's going on in the heavens. Cause there it, it, there is some very powerful things going on, man. And it, war, man, who knows? You know, the, the imagination can take you all over the place, you know. Um so it says Verse 22, Sud and, and suddenly shall the sown places be, appear unsown, stores closing. The full storehouses shall suddenly, suddenly be found empty. People ain't going to be working. And the trumpet shall give a sound, which ultimately is the prophets, which every man hear it, they shall be suddenly afraid. Because ultimately what the, what the prophets are Speaking is going to ultimately start to take precedence on the earth. Plagues. So people are starting to consider, man, we're at the something's going on. We're at the end. The mark of the beast. You know, all everybody's, you know, like, oh, shit. You know, but you have a whole hell of a lot of people who, as the scriptures say, 
even with the plagues happening, they're still going to be in their ignorance. Okay? And at that time, friends shall fight one against uh, another like enemies. Don't we see that happening? Don't we see that happening? People are turning on one another. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still. And in three hours they shall not run. The Lord is going to shut off this word. When all of these, when it gets crazy, that's when the Lord is going to hide his prophets. And you people are going to be out here left to your own demise. However the Lord does it, he's going to do it. And whosoever remaineth from all these, the remnant that I have told thee shall escape. And shall see my salvation in the end of your world. All right? And the men that are received shall see it who have not tasted death from their birth. And the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. People, the, the whole earth, is the, 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 the whole process of how people interact and what, it's all getting ready to change, man. Okay, the, 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 the people prepare for the coming of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. And that's why the people are acting all weird, right? Because what does the scripture say? You know, uh, the heart in, of many will be revealed through him coming, all right? And as the Yahweh Shai gets close to the earth, people's intents are being revealed, okay? The truth is becoming more clear, all right? Hey, as a matter of fact, let's keep reading. And evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched, right? And that's what's happening. The Edomite is being confounded and he can't win a technical fight. He can't win a spiritual fight because our fight is spiritual. See? So what, what's next? Low blows. He getting jabbed. He getting he body shot. You know, faint, faint, come, come under, hit him in a rib. <laughs> Through. All right. Out of there, man. He, he's, he's being broken down by the Holy Spirit. And he has no control. He, he, he's, he's being hit at, with all angles, man. You know, they're terrified. Like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> it said, it, 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 the strange signal appeared 13 times, never lasting in the sky for more than a few weeks. So it was there for, for periods of time, man. Wow. Wow appearing and disappearing with no predictable schedule mm. and it was something like they've never uh, uh, experienced okay so where were we at ended off As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. All right? <laughs> and that's happened through the Holy Spirit being sent down into the remnant, man. And we're getting ready to escape, and we're escaping already by fleeing Babylon spiritually. Hey, arise and depart, for this is not your rest, man, because the Lord is getting ready to uh, uh, hit this place with some calamities. Okay, let's read it again. Sirach 10 and 13. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Okay, so the heavens, the heavens dictate what's happening on earth. Strange calamities are getting ready to hit Babylon the great man. Okay, even... If that was a few years back, uh, you know, ultimately, it's speak is it the same thing. All of the same, it's all happening now. The whole we're in the time of judgment, man. All right, we're in the time where the Lord is getting ready to take this place down, man. So I just wanted to bring that out. Um, call hello, Yahweh Bashim Shai, Basham Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation unto the elect. Shalom. I'll put this uh, article, Lord willing, in post-production if you want to check out, you know, uh, 
grand solar minimums and the fall of empires. How, you know, what's dick what's what's happening in the heavens is synonymous with the fall of empires and how the earth, you know, responds and what what, what happens on the earth because of what's happening in the heavens. So shalom.